Did you know you can debug JavaScript and VS Code without having to install a separate extension? Well, let me show you how. What's up, everyone? My name is James Q. Quick, and I do weekly videos on web development related topics. And if you follow this channel at all, you know I've done a ton of videos on VS Code. It's my favorite text editor. I love the features. I love the customization. I love the extensions that come along with it. So you know how if you're setting up debugging for JavaScript in VS Code. Wait, you actually do debugging more than just console log? Well, yeah, occasionally I do. But if you were to set that up previously, you would have to install a separate extension, the debugger for Chrome extensions, so that you can do your debugging for your JavaScript applications inside of Chrome or have it connect to your application running inside of Chrome and then do the debugging right inside of VS Code. Anyways, you don't have to do that anymore. So let's take a quick walkthrough of how you would set that up. Now, before we do, I want to say that this video is sponsored by Ben Q. They sent me a screen bar plus light, which hooks on top of your monitor. And I've gotten to use that for a few months now. Now I have had some troubles with my eyes of eye strain, just looking at monitors every day and having that extra source of light in the right direction on the monitor has actually been really helpful. So I've got a couple of links below for you to check that out. If you're interested, you can find that and get one yourself. Now let's dive into VS Code. All right, so I've got open a demo for a video that's coming out actually right after this one, if it's published, after it's published, I'll put a card up here for you to check it out. But that video is working with a form in vanilla HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, specifically working with a platform called Quez Forms, which makes it really easy for you to handle form submissions on your sites. Anyway, uh, what I wanna do is just show you really quickly how I would go and debug this application. So previously, I would have to have installed the debugger for Chrome, debugger for Chrome extension, which I actually still have installed here. But I want to get rid of that. So this is what I used to would have had to install. That sounds weird. Uh, so I can go to settings and I can uninstall this completely and get rid of that. And then for people who this may be your first time doing actual debugging inside of VS Code, again, console log works most of the time. But if you head over to the little bug icon with the play button, that is your debug tab. Now, because this is built into VS Code, we can go right from here and do like a uh, a run and debug here. So the one thing we'll need to do is actually have our application running on some sort of local server. So we can use the live server extension. I've got a video about the live server extension if you need to know how to set it up. But once you have it set up, you can click go live. What that's gonna do is start your application on port 5,000. I've always said 5050, it's 5,500. And then it'll have that as a live reloading server for you. So here's the demo. This will look a lot different by the time the video comes out. So with that in place, I can do a run and debug, and then it's gonna ask me what kind of environment am I looking at? Well, I'm looking at Chrome. Let me know if you're using Edge, if you do, or what kind of browser you use when you do your web development. I use Chrome, so I'll choose Chrome here, and then it's gonna basically give me this little configuration file, this JSON file that stays inside of my project. So if I look in my .vs code folder, Here's that launch.json file, which is now the debug configuration file for this application. And then all I want to do in here is say, hey, instead of looking at port 8080, I want you to look at port 5500. All right, so now I can save this and then I can hit the little play button in the top left to go ahead and trigger the debugging instance. Now, what this is going to do is not only set up debugging, it's also going to launch that. So this is going to launch the application or launch a page inside of Chrome at port 5500, and then it'll be connected to it via the debugger. All right, so we see that thing come up now. This thing, again, is connected to our VS Code instance. So what do we do? How do we actually debug? Well, the first thing we would do is create a breakpoint inside of VS Code to be able to do this debugging. And I actually just had a little bit of issue adding breakpoints a second ago. So what I did was restart VS Code. I quit it and opened it back up. And now my breakpoints are here because they kind of disappeared which is a little odd. I'm assuming this will be a bug that will get figured out over the next, uh, I mean, usually they're really good in the next uh, couple of weeks, I would imagine. So hopefully you don't see this, but if you do give it a restart, especially after you uninstall the debugger for Chrome extension. But now that I have my breakpoints available to me, I can set a breakpoint right at the start here, the first couple of lines so that when the JavaScript loads, it should hit this breakpoint. So let's go over to our debug button again. Let's uh, run this. I kill the debug uh, setup with this square here. 
and then just restart it with that play button. So this actually opened while I was talking, this opened uh, the application and the browser, and then it also then hit this breakpoint. And so the beauty of this beyond just console log is you can go in and you can look at your variable. So you can look at, there's a ton of stuff inside of global. Let's, or here's a couple of our variables. So our meme input, and then our preview image, fast forward to the video coming out in a couple weeks or a couple days, we'll show you how to create memes to make fun of me, which will be fun. Uh, so you can inspect your variables here, especially as they change. And you can also go like line by line inside of your code. So if I look over uh, the hover options in the debug options, I can step over, which will basically take me to the next line. And now if you look at preview image over here, now you see this actually is representing a DOM element. Whereas before it hadn't ran that line of code yet, or it hadn't ran this part of the code. So it didn't actually have a value. All right, so that's really cool. And then what we can also do is maybe uh, go ahead and play this. So if we go ahead and uh, hit play, this will continue in the application. And then what it's looking for, or what the callback function that I just set the breakpoint in is if this input changes. So if I go to me and I upload an image of, hey, me, for example, this should now hit that breakpoint. It will take me from Chrome back to VS Code and I can go and inspect this again. Now I can look to see if I had some sort of logic to say, um, I wanna know, uh, is that file actually being picked up the way I'm trying to get it here? Well, I can actually go and see, hey, this thing actually is a file, then I could go step by step again to do the rest of my debugging. This is a huge advantage, although it is slightly, it's not even tricky, it just takes a minimal amount of time to set up. There is a huge advantage of using true debugging in VS Code over just console log in your browser. Now that's not to say that I don't use console log most of the time myself, but this can be really, really handy if you're getting into a trickier situation with debugging inside of VS Code. So now this is, is as easy as it could get. You don't have to install a separate extension and then you can create your configuration right inside of VS Code. They guide you through it. You can update that launch.json to match the port that your application is on and then you'll be good to go. So I'm curious, how much time do you spend actually debugging versus console log? What does debugging mean for you? Does it mean a true debugging experience with breakpoints? or does it mean console log? Let me know that in the comments below. Thanks as always for checking out the video and I will catch you next time.